Hallelujah to Jesus. We give God a praise. Let God be magnified in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. This is God's Son Channel with Evangelist Sarah. You're welcome. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless every member of this household. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I love you. Please family like this video. Share, subscribe. Tell somebody about this ministry. God bless you as you do that in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. <laughs> ah. Hmm. The Lord is sanitizing, you know, every stain that the enemy put in on your name. Every stain that he put on your name. <laughs> God have removed it. And every other stain that will still come, God will still remove it. There is no stain that the enemy will throw at you, rather, or death. That will just be permanent in your life. God have me to tell somebody. The stain of the enemy. No matter how many times they throw it at you. The death. It will not stay. Get stuck in your life. For the Lord will remove it. The Lord will remove it. You know. They throw so much deathiness. So much stain on your name. But now they see that you are still very clean. They wonder. <laughs> they wonder, 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 man. <laughs> they wonder. Do you know why? Because it is God that defend the innocent. And God is defending you. It is God that defend the innocent. And God is defending you. And the Lord is saying, no, a matter of dirtiness that they will throw. Even if it gets to you. The Lord will clean it off. It cannot be attached to you. Do you know why? Because your life is hidden in Christ. Your life is in the hands of God. So there is no death that will come into your life. And while you are in the hands of God, everything will remain. Because there is no deathiness in the hands of God. So for your life to be in the hands of God, it means that there will be no deathiness in your life. They throw a lot of death at the name of this person. But the Lord said, they will wonder how you are still staying clean. They will wonder. You know, I'm just saying, wonder, wonder, wonder. They will, <laughs> they will wonder. You know why I'm laughing? I know there is somebody who is like, why evangelists are laughing? Because I can relate to the message. You know, there are some messages the Lord is giving to me. Sometimes I'm like, maybe this message was supposed to be only for me. <clears throat> but suddenly I can't, I see that it's not for me, but... It is just like, it just relates to my situation, maybe in the past, whatever is coming or whatever have come and all of that, you know. A lot of people have thrown death on my name, you know, as well. That is why I'm laughing because I can imagine. Sometimes when I sit down to think, I'm like, God, how, how, how did I manage to come out from this? You know, you don't even know how. That is it is God himself that is that bring you out from that situation. So many, your enemies, they will not begin to wonder, how did God bring this person out from this situation? They throw so much death, so much death. That's, that was a time I was even crying. I'm telling you, you know, and I will come out, I'll tell you, don't cry. Because that was what God was telling me. The, I think about, it was so hard, like three years ago, and I would just call myself and be crying, God, is this how it is? Is this how the journey is? God, God, God. And the Lord said, stop crying, get up and go and pray. <laughs> you just have to sit, stand up and go and pray. You have no choice because you have to obey what the Lord is saying. Hmm, because disobedience to God is is rebel is rebelling against God. You understand? So they throw so much debt. They are looking at you like, let's see how this person can come out from this debt. And you realize that the debt is coming from people that you used to care about. 
People used to love. People used to pray for. People used to understand. You see that they are the one that are throwing the death. But you became more known. You became more popular. You became more well composed. Why? Because the Lord is holding you. The Lord is holding you. You know, you, have, you need to see some things. Because when people have not seen things, when they hear messages like this, they cannot relate. They allow this does not concern me. I was at home one day. I can remember some time ago. I was at home and I saw a message about me. I'm like, what is this? And the message was like, you see that woman called Evangelicera? You see her? There is a white man behind her that is pushing her to come out on YouTube to do what she... I'm like, well, who, which of the evangelists? And I check myself. Which one is a white man, a green man, a black man, a yellow man, a, a, a colored man? I'm not really... I don't understand. So, and people started buying into the story. As I'm telling you, plenty. That was just to ruin my name. They were like, hey, we said it. Oh, we said it. I said, really? I said, there is not even any man that is behind me that will tell me to go and do what I'm doing. Even my own personal husband became born again through me. He was not even born again. He was a Jehovah Witness. You know Jehovah Witness now, those people that carry Bible from one house to another. He is a Jehovah Witness. So it was even through me he got born again, got baptized. So... Is it the one that will not tell me to go and do this and do that? When he met me doing it, he met me in it. So why is he going to tell me to, to do what I've been doing before he met me? Many years, many years ago. <laughs> you understand? So I'm like, I was like, what is this? What is this? They say, it's a, it's a man that is, ah, God. That day... I think for like three days, I didn't know how to concentrate in prayer. And I remember one of my daughters saying to me, my daughter in the Lord, she said, Mommy, just concentrate, just pray. Forget, don't, don't just pray. And when she told me that word, I'm like, oh, God sent her to tell me this. So that was the day I readjust myself again. And I removed the thoughts. I didn't even talk about it on the live stream anymore. I concentrated in prayers. And I was able to overcome that. As in, that is just one of the examples. I'm not going to sit here. If I want to give you an example, I'll give you a full book. We'll be here. We'll sleep here. Why I sometimes bring out some of these things so that you can also learn that people like us, we have experienced this thing and we are still experiencing it death on our name but now i need you to understand more in the past most of the people that throw those deaths they end up in regret 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 child of god they throw so much death in your life but they wonder now how that death is not attached to your name why? Because God removed the debt from your life. God re <coughs> removed the debt from your journey. Because it is God that is holding you. They will wonder and wonder and wonder and wonder. How is it that the debt, the debt does not kill you? It cannot. Because though all of these things might come, our heart will not be moved. <coughs> Those storm might come. We will not give up. And some of the storm that I, I experience now make me stronger. There are some things I just see even on the email. The moment I see the next thing, I, I wipe it off. Before, these are the things that, that is something maybe I will look at. I will not be, what is this again? What did I do to this person? Where is she from? Where is it from? But now I just see it. I see that, okay, this is an enemy who is manifesting. I just look at it. I said, okay, I will not even read it to the end. The only ones that I'm interested in reading is the one that I know that are sending it because they want to know about God, they want help, they want prayer, they want all of that. I submit it before God. 
and God is answering and delivering every one of them. Child of God, the dirty that they throw at you will make them still wonder how, how, how are you still that person that, that is not being destroyed? But I pray for you. No matter how they try, they can't destroy you. It is well with you, Jesus. Love you. And I am love you with the love of Christ. I remain your sister, Evangelist Sarah. By the grace of God, I will see you again. Bye-bye.